Today we're going to take a look at the next lineup from Rhizoma. We have three different fluid tanks. The CT-115, which is the back brake reservoir, the CT-127, which is the front brake reservoir, and the CT-125, which is the clutch fluid reservoir. Let's pull the boxes open to see what you get. The CT-115 is fairly straightforward. Underneath the padding, you get the instruction manual. You get the machined aluminum tank. The CT-127 comes with a few more pieces in the box. You get the tank and three nipples. One is straight and two have 90 degree bends. These have different diameters to accommodate for various hose diameters. If we look at the bottom of the reservoir, you can see this rubber grommet. With some brute force, you'll be able to simply push the nipple needed for your application into the grommet to form the seal. The CT-125 is very similar to the CT-127, just a bit smaller. Again, this tank is the machined aluminum that Rhizoma is known for. You get the reservoir and it comes with three different nipples. You pop the top off of the CT-127 with an Allen key to reveal a diaphragm. If you look closely, the bolt holes are not sealed. It's important that you do not get fluid in these channels while filling. At the bottom of the tank, you have a sturdy O-ring that seals the unit. You aren't going to have any leaks from this area. The CT-125 is virtually identical to the CT-127 in construction. Again, a sturdy O-ring at the bottom and a diaphragm up top. One thing to note is that some OEMs use DOT fluids and others use mineral oil. So make sure that you check your owner's manual to see which fluid you need for your application. These tanks come in several different colors so you can have them blend in or make the pieces pop. It's up to you. Now for the CT-115. This reservoir is very straightforward. Again, pop the top off with an Allen key then the top diaphragm. Down in the reservoir, you can see a small line. This is something of a fill line, or you can fill the reservoir to the bottom of this lip. You don't want to overfill, but you certainly want to make sure that you don't have any possibility for air in the system. To mount this thing, all you need is a tab to strap this to. This bolt is a 10 millimeter, and this is an H4 Allen. Just use this bolt to mount, and this will really clean up your back brake setup. In order to mount the CT-125 and CT-127, you will need to order brackets. These are sold separately. This is the CT-450B. This is an H4 Allen head bolt and will mount into any 6mm threaded hole and offer 180 degrees of articulation with the use of an H3 Allen at this joint. This will mount to the bottom of the reservoir like this, and then you can choose the angle that works best for your setup. If you're looking for more articulation, the CT-451B offers a few more axes so you can get it dialed in. That same H4 Allen will loosen the joints to give you infinite adjustability. For a simple pinch mount under a mirror or otherwise, the CT-454B is the bracket to use. For mounting in the end of a tube or hollow clip-on, you can use the CT-453B. This is an extended hose in case you need it for your setup. Tighten this bolt to the point that it fits tightly in the bar. Push it into the bar, then keep tightening. The rubber piece will expand and grip the inside of the bar. Now a note about filling these reservoirs. The max line is the absolute maximum level that the fluid should hit, even while leaning. If we look inside the tank, the diaphragm will come down to the max line. When the bike is leaned over, the fluid can leach up into the bolt holes. They aren't sealed, so it can cause a leak if you overfill. Because of the heavy grommet down at the bottom, if you have any small leaks, it is likely leaking from the bolt holes, not the bottom of the tank. I would recommend that you put the bike on a side stand to get an idea of where the fluid level is. If you're just looking for symmetry, you can run two CT-125s as well. If you're looking for a minimal and clean cockpit, you can run two CT-127s for both brake and clutch. Totally up to you. You don't need a ton of fluid, so the smaller tank will work for both. Now for some photos from Rhizoma so you can see what these tanks look like installed. I hope this answers your questions about the next fluid tanks from Rhizoma and necessary mounting brackets.